said he expects to see you out there. Are you feeling pretty good to go? Yeah, I'm feeling 100% ready to go. So, How was your first half of uh, college season going here? Well, your first half playing of a college season going here at Colorado? Um, you know, I like where I'm at right now. I definitely have a lot of uh, room to improve. I'm not satisfied with everything I'm doing, but better than terrible. So, yeah. It would seem that after that, I think, first half of the CSU game, you mm-hmm. haven't really been targeted like that Mm -hmm. you know no one's really tried to exploit you have you felt like you've kind of held your own here and kind of taken some progress in your own game yeah for sure um I mean there's still times I get caught on Mm -hmm. a good amount of times which I really need to work on but I really feel like I would have been targeted a lot more Mm -hmm. and I'm happy with where I'm at so I just got to keep pushing I've also noticed you make some pretty big plays in the run game. How important is that to you, obviously, you know, kind of keeping the edge on the outside, being the last man? I think it's a huge thing because teams will see on film that if a corner doesn't want to hit, they're just going to keep going at them, running and passing. So I try to set that tempo that you could run my way, but I'm going to shut it down. Was it nice for you at the same time to see Dante get out there and get a little playing oh, yeah. time under his belt, though? You yeah. know, especially because you need the depth at corner, right? But mm-hmm. also, I'm sure you guys have become close. Yeah, I'm not that type of person that's going to be, like, mad at Dante or something yeah. for going in. Like, if he's playing better than me, then he earned it, and he's going to go in. So I was very happy to see how he played and all that. Like, it was nice. What? What does being a defensive back playing for Coach McIntyre mean? That's got to be pretty cool having your coach, your head coach, play your position. Yeah, I mean, it helps a lot. He's in our meetings, really gives us extra good tips since, you know, like you said, uh, he's played DB before. He's like a DB guru, so Mm -hmm. it definitely helps a whole lot, and I'm very appreciative of him. Kind of got off to a rough start here in conference play, but it seems like the mentality of this team is pretty close-knit and bonded. Do you feel the attitude that you don't really want to let what happened last Saturday happen again? Oh, yeah, 100%. Um, Everyone's here to win. No one's here just to say they play in the Pac-12. Everyone's definitely disappointed with how it started. We're super close. Um, They're close isn't good enough. And... uh, our mindset's to win, like I said, and that's what we're, we're going to do. So season's not over yet. We're going to make strides. What, le- what lessons do you learn when you kind of keep bashing your head against the wall and it just mm-hmm. doesn't go through? Does it, I imagine that it makes you reflect personally. Did, yeah. you, did you take anything from this little time here? That your worst enemy is yourself. Uh, we definitely have been shooting ourselves in the foot. Um, we just got to get rid of those mistakes and we'll be good. Going up against Steven every day is probably an interesting challenge in and of itself. Mm-hmm. Talk about the challenges that he represents as a quarterback. Well, as a quarterback. Trying to defend him. Oh, trying to defend him? Yeah. Okay. Um, it definitely helps a lot because if I was going up against like a trash quarterback every day, going into Pac-12 play, I'd be getting worked all game long. So he definitely helps the whole def- uh, secondary. Mm-hmm. So it's very nice going up against him. He's a really good quarterback, really poised, knows what he's doing, knows the offense, calls audibles. Um, it was new for me coming from high school because, I mean, I played Jake Browning in high school. That was the closest thing I've got. Right. Um, other quarterbacks don't really make audibles, stuff like that. So he's definitely helped me throughout fall camp, spring, until now, still going, uh, learning, you know, how to handle all this stuff. Obviously, last year you got a ton of learning experience under some mm-hmm. pretty good corners. And now this year you get to play alongside a really good DB in Isaiah. Mm-hmm. How much does he motivate you and kind of help you along? A lot, because he shows me, um, like not telling me, but I can see that, you know, I have a lot of opportunities if I take the right, I have the tools, like Mm -hmm. he started where I started, Um, I just got to use them properly, so he's a good example of what I can end up being. You don't get much free time as a student athlete, but when you do, what do you find yourself doing? Laying in bed, playing playing video games. Good, getting the body right? Yeah, that's all I do.